Okay, what up everybody? This is Mr. Stan coming at you with another video. Uh, this time we're going to talk about finding the angle when there's refraction, when light or some other electromagnetic wave goes from one um, medium to another. And also we're going to show you how to uh, calculate some sine, um, some trig functions using an online calculator, which we have to do to solve this problem. All right, so if you look at the screen, you'll see on the left side we have a picture. Uh, the light is the light ray is moving from the bottom to the top and is crossing a barrier, so it's going from one type of material to another. You'll see N2 tells you the index of refraction is 1.92, so this is something that light travels a little slower in. It could be um, glass or water or something like that. And then in the top, N1 is 1.0003. Um, the, the index of refraction for like a complete vacuum was just one. So this is something that's that's very empty, almost maybe maybe like some air or something like that, right? And so uh, using this equation on the right, we should be able to figure out what that angle is, the angle that it makes with the what we call the normal. A, a, a just imagine a line that goes straight up and down across the surface. Um, this equation will tell you what angle the light makes with that line. Okay, so let's start. Um, you have the equation on the right, and let's see what numbers we can plug in. It tells us N1 is 1.003, so we'll put that into our equation. N2 is 1.92, we'll put that into the equation. We don't know what the first angle is, right? And we, and we, but we know the second angle is um, 30 degrees, right? So first what we're going to do is we want to find the first angle. So we're going to move using algebra as many things to the right side of the equal sign as possible, right? And so if, if you look what I did there, I just divided both sides by N1, and it canceled out on the left side and gave us an N1 on the bottom of the equation on the right side, right? So there, there's the equation we're going to use. Then we plug in the numbers. It looks like this. Okay, so uh, the next step is going to be going to a um, online calculator and figuring out what all this stuff on the right side of the equal sign uh, equals. So let's do that. All right, so I'll, I'm just going to Google. I'm going to type in Desmos, this D E S M O S calculator. Press enter, you'll see the top two results are uh, a graphing calculator and a scientific calculator. Uh, for this problem, you want the scientific calculator. That'd be much easier for us. All right, so here's the calculator. I'm going to type in what, um, what you saw in the equation. So it was 1.92 times, and we have to do sine of 30 degrees. So how do we do that? Come over here on the left side, you'll see SIN. Click on that button, type in 30, and then close the parentheses. Okay, it's very important at this point that this button up here says DEG, so make sure your button says DEG. If it was in RAD or radians, you'd be getting a completely uh, different answer. All right, and then we divide that by 1.0003. That doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And so you get your answer here on the right side. I'm just going to take the two, the, I'm just going to round it to the two, two decimal places. Uh, and that will be 0.96. So did we solve the, 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 uh, the problem? Not yet. Okay. So some of you might be familiar with what sine means. Others aren't. We didn't find the angle yet. We just found out what sine of that angle is. Okay, we found out sine of that angle is 0.96. We need to now figure out what the angle itself is. So here's how we do that. All right, we have to use what's called an inverse sine function. Uh, and if we use that and put 0.96 in, then that will tell us what the, the actual angle is. So we're gonna have to do this on the online calculator as well. So let me pull that up again. All right, and I'll uh, move on to the next thing. Okay, so we want to find out what is the inverse sine of 0.96, and you don't see inverse sine anywhere on this uh, screen, but there is a button that says FUNC, short for function, F-U-N-C. Click on that, and then it gives you a whole bunch of things to choose from. 
a little sign, S-I-N, with a minus one at the top. That's the button we're looking for. Okay, so then that puts the function on the calculator. We're going to press main again, and then point nine six, close the parentheses, and there we have our answer on the right side. So it's about 73.7 degrees, right? And that is our answer, right? All right, have a great day, uh, and I'll see you later.